guys, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Friday, February 19th. And today, we have the moon moves into Leo. And um, when the moon moves into Leo, it is going to be opposing Venus and opposing Mercury, and both of those little guys are conjunct. So, and this is going to be all day energy. So, Leo and Aquarian energy are the opposites of each other. So you're going to feel very conflicted on how you move forward in a relationship or a creative endeavor. You are going to feel like you need to make a radical change and a decision. This is this is this energy to me feels very insistent. It wants to be heard. There's a voice, there's there's an idea, there's a thought and you need it to be recognized and you want to stand out and you want others to validate it in this energy. And I, I think there lies the opposition. There could be um, this need to stand out and be accepted, but it's so progressive. You could get a little bit of a slap from that, um, especially if it has to do with some sort of interesting idea or a way of doing things. Beware of your emotions may be fueled by fire today. So here's my warning for you. If some of you get some pushback today on your ideas, on the way that you are interpreting something, on the way that you're thinking, and it could have something to do with some sort of partnering energy. Um, it could have something to do with somebody that you're a companion somebody that you're spending a significant amount of time with, a friend, some sort of social networking. If you get any sort of pushback, mind this, you are in all kinds of fire energy. Now you do have a sun that is in Pisces conjunct with Neptune, but be mindful of the fact that makes you hypersensitive and um, what you desire, you deeply desire. You are very ambitious in this energy. You're very hopeful. It's very easy for people to put, throw a bunch of water on your fire energy. And that can make you very confrontational, um, really, really um, volatile, uh, easily agitated, um, because, you know, you have something to say and you feel like it should be heard and everybody may not want to frack and listen right now because they're lost in their own little blissful, happy place where reality just isn't what they want to focus on or they don't want to see that part of things. So just be mindful of that. Um, you, you know, the positive side is you may feel very daring and willing to take a risk just to see where it takes you. Some of you are going to play in this energy. You're going to play with the head. You're going to play with the mind. You're going to play with the emotions of people just to see what buttons push what buttons. That's very possible in this energy, if not probable for some of you. And it's not like you're doing it to create drama, although it will very dramatic day for some of you um, as you push these buttons and just to figure out where the boundaries lie so you can maybe play with those boundaries a bit. Um, you may feel like playing with fire just to see how hot you can get it before you get burnt. Let's face it, when you get a moon in Leo, sometimes it's just fun to just F with people. I I'm not saying I enjoy it. I'm just saying that you get the attention. You ever see those little kids that, you know, throw tantrums and any attention is good attention? Like they're just bad kids. They keep doing bad things all the time. They're doing it to get attention. So bad attention, good attention, doesn't matter. They're getting attention. That's the kind of energy that you could see. So some people may be acting up to try to get your attention because maybe you're lost in your mind. That's another Aquarian thing to do is get so lost in your uh, in what you got going on your projects your mind that they'll just start acting up just to be a butt like they're just I don't know I've seen it done a hundred times I never understand when somebody does it because I'm actually kind of a person who likes to be alone so when people do this I'm always fascinated by like what are you doing like why would you even have this conversation right now it's you're you know I'm just gonna but I'm gonna eat your face off like it's that kind of energy. Um, 
Today, you need to, in, t today there's a need to avoid consequences of some of the actions that you do and take and some of the pleasure seeking. So for some of you, you're in a state of avoidance, um, of accountability um, in this energy, and you may get a little bit of lip service because of that. But I think you're going to be okay with it because for the most part, you're going to not feel understood fully in today's energy. You're going to feel very unique. You're going to feel like you have unique needs. You're going to feel like you need to do something just for you. You're going to feel, uh, you're going to feel very like a lone ranger in this type of energy. Even though you feel down and there may be a lack of fulfillment, escaping responsibility for you gives you some sort of satisfaction. So for some of you, you're going to be some very indulgent in this energy. Because it's the only thing that's going to make you feel good. For some of you, if you got a pushback and it was a significant pushback, um, maybe you wanted to stand out to a, to a potential partner and you didn't stand out or you didn't get the reaction. Remember, Aquarian energy is just all about unpredictability. And when it's combined with a sun in Pisces, you can darn well bet you do not know the story. You don't know the half of it. The, the, their mind, their feelings, everything is deeper or it's taking a unique twist or perhaps some of you are having twisting and turnings, you know, the energy is twisting and turning in your relationships and you're like, I don't freaking know where I'm going because that's so Aquarian based energy. And you have this controlling moon that wants to control the direction of everything. Just know that you're caught in the swirl. And fracking go do something that makes you feel good. Like, just go do it and just enjoy your day anyway, because this day is going to pass and energy passes. Um, today, Uranus in Aries is going to quincunx Jupiter. Woo, does this have the, uh, okay, so say somebody ignites your fire and you go ablaze in this energy and you want to just burn down somebody's forest because you fracking can and you, you could just say what it takes to hurt them. You could just have the type of impact you can put in their face that you're hot and that you, that you could go get anything else. There could be a flavor of unpredictability. You're going to quincunx the frack right on out. Like that is. So not a good idea, can I just tell you? Because here's what's going to happen. It may be difficult for some of you to change a mindset that you know needs to change in the state of progression. So this is about stretching your boundaries and, and looking at things from a different perspective. This is about elevated thinking. This is about taking a look at the big picture, not immediate. Not the immediate need, but the big picture. So just... Cool your jets. It's just a day. It's just a day like every other day that has energy that comes and goes. And if you feel like somebody is lighting your butt on fire, you just walk in a different direction. I don't care what you got to do. Turn up the music, walk out the door, go take a drive, go, go just, you know, mix and mingle, go talk to somebody else, go hang out with some friends, but don't let somebody get your goat today because it's highly possible. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.